Hi, I'm Narid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you some more cool tips and tricks about Word Outliner and properties. So without any further ado, let's begin. First tip that I want to show you is about this Word Outliner, okay? So we have a lot of things in here. Let's just maximize it and you can see we have a lot of things in here first thing that you should know you should select multiple things in here if you hold shift you can select from a object to object in here or if you hold control you can do it as well and first tip that i want to show you is grouping some things together right so let's just select all of these and you can see all that we are selected is just this window of course it is in its folder so it is cool but we can make a group out of this so we can change the position of all of these parts together so we can use groups how we can do that we can hold ctrl and g to create a group of actor in here no when we click on one of these we can have all of them but and when we click on one of them we can change the position of that and you can see that we can do that okay so with ctrl z let's get back and again with selecting this let's say we want to change the position of this object in here not just all the groups what you can do you can hold shift and hit g and it will ungroup it okay so it's not in a group again let's just make it a group Control g and it create a group for it no we want to change the position of one of them without ungrouping everything so what we should do let's just select them right click on it go to groups and it's in here select unlock and know that you unlock it you can select whichever you want and change its position okay we did change the position of this door door in here and now if we click on our group we can change the position of all of them together after we change the child of this group like we want we can again right click on our group and go to groups and lock it again and now when we click in here we can select all of them and change the position of all of them okay so i did make some changes let's just use ctrl z to go back okay now everything is okay next thing that i want to show you let's just go up you can see there is a lot of things in here and let's say let's say these do two baseboard cube 19 and baseboard cube 20 we want it to be on a folder one way to do it we can create a folder for it and drag and drop it in there but the best way to do it hold control select both of them and after that click on create new folder and it will cut those two and put it in our folder i want to call it base port okay so that's the best way to create a folder in outliner now that we know something about outliner let's just go to property so let's just maximize this when you click on something you can see the property of those object okay first thing to know when you click two of them together you can change the attribute that are the same in both of them together so let's say we want to say simulate physics in both of them we can select both of them and say simulate physics next thing that i want to show you is in here in property you can see all of the property are expanded what i do i select in here and say collapse all so you can see it's clear more clear right now okay so if you if i want to go to physics i can click on here say simulate physics or whatever and collapses it's more cleaner of course we can use physics use search 
I say in here physics, okay? But we want to reach out over keyboard and we don't want to do that because it's time consuming. So instead I use collapse all category and right now I can find physics so fast in here and say simulate physics. <laughs> I think this is the best way to find things in Unreal Engine. And if you learn it like this, you will learn a lot about all of this property in a course or in YouTube, right? So I think for teaching somebody, you, you shouldn't use search every time. You should use something like this, collapse everything so they know when you use simulate, it's in physics. When you want to change something in collision, in its inclusion group in here. The next thing that I want to show you, let's say we select this door and we want to scale it up, okay? So let's just change the scale in y direction to 2, okay? So you can see it's changed its scale uh, to 2, but you can see the texture is not working right. Why? Because we should scale all from all angle, right, in X, in Y, and Z together. So let's just put it back to one. What we should do, we should select this lock in here. So no, I when I change this to two, every one of them will be two, and it will be locked, and it will increase its scale at the all the vertices, right? So now that we have this, let's just put it on one again. So that's it for this video. And after this video, I will show you um, in real time when you are designing your project, how you can use all of these options and a lot of basic options that I didn't show you in some of these videos because they are too basic to show you. And um, I try my best to show you what is the best way to do things in Unreal Engine in these three videos that I did talk about tips and tricks. And in future videos, I will talk more about these tips and tricks, of course. So for now, I think it's enough. Please, if you want to help me, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.